Hello dear friends, welcome all of you to one more session in carbohydrates. We will deal today the ring structures in carbohydrates. Watch till the end for complete understanding of the topic. Let's go. Carbohydrates usually form ring structures when they are dissolved in aqueous solution. And in the aqueous solution, there is some percentage of linear structure is also present but very negligible percentage. These ring structures in carbohydrates, they were first suggested by Haworth. That is why they are called as Haworth structures. In carbohydrates, majorly two types of ring structures, they are existing. One type of ring structures, they are called pyranose ring structures. And the second type are called as pyranose ring structures. Let's move to the pyranose ring structures. The pyranose ring structures, they are called as pyranoses because they resemble the structure of pyran. What is the structure of pyran? See here, it is a six-membered ring structure. This is called pyran in chemistry. As the pyranoses resemble the structure of pyran, they are called as pyranose. See here then what is the structure of pyran means? This is the structure of pyranose ring. As this pyranose ring is resemble the structure of pyran, it is called as a pyranose ring and it is six membered ring. Why it is six membered ring? Because it contains six members. What are they here? One, two, three, four, five all these five are carbons and there is one member it is oxygen that is why they are called as six membered molecule so pyranoses they resemble the structure of pyran because uh, it is derived from pyran and they are six membered which contains five carbons and one oxygen let us see the furanoses the furanoses they are called furanoses because they resemble the structure of furan what is a furan it is a five membered ring very easy to draw if you just observe how am i drawing then it is very easy for you to learn the structures this is the structure of furan in chemistry the furanoses are those which resemble the structure of furan just remove the Take out the double bonds then it is nothing but the furan okay this is a furan why it is called as a five membered let's see because it contains one two three four four carbons are there and there is one oxygen together how many members are there in this particular molecule five members that is why it is called as a five membered ring furanose is five membered ring Hope it is clear now. The carbohydrates form two types of rings, pyranoses and furanoses. Pyranoses are called uh, because they resemble the structure of pyran. Furanoses are so called because they resemble the structure of furan. Pyranoses are six-membered molecules and the furanoses are five-membered rings. Let's move ahead. Then you may get a doubt that how the ring structure is formed in carbohydrates. We have seen the linear structures in carbohydrates like uh, the one which I am drawing now for glucose which contains six carbons six last one contains CH2OH first carbon contains CHO glucose is OH OH H and OH and towards the left it is hydrogen OH and H this is nothing but the glucose this is the open chain structure open chain structure which is converted into one of the ring which is nothing but the pyranose ring how it is formed means the ring structures in carbohydrates they result due to the internal hemiacetal ring formation or due to the internal hemiketal ring formation because of these two the ring structures they exist in the carbohydrates how a hemiacetal or hemiketal ring is formed means if we see this figure this is normally a hemiacetal is formed whenever aldehyde reacts with alcohol then it forms 
a hemiacetal ring here these are the molecules this is the aldehyde group reacting with the alcohol group but these two are different but in carbohydrates what are formed here internally the hydrogen group hydroxyl group it reacts with the aldehyde group thereby forming the hemiacetal ring and when we see the ketone ring hemi ketal ring it is formed between ketone and alcohol this is the ketone group and this is the alcoholic group between these two what is formed the hemi uh, this, that is ketal ring is formed in this particular case this is the ketal ring k okay. so it is formed between the functional group and alcoholic group it is formed between the functional group and alcoholic group as in case of carbohydrates both of them that means aldehyde group and hydroxyl group they are present in the same molecule that is why it is called as a internal hemiacetal in case of hemiketal both the alde both the ketone group as well as the hydroxyl group they are present in the same molecule that is why they are called as internal hemiketal ring through this video we learned the existence of two types of ring structures in carbohydrates in the next class we will learn how to represent or write the ring structure of glucose and fructose till then bye bye don't forget to like share and subscribe and also don't forget to share among your friends see you later bye bye